Hello everyone. Our topic of presentation is frame relay. This assignment is submitted by Priyanka Singh, Rahi Maske and Rasika Padigaukar. The content of our presentation is given in this slide. Now, our first subtopic is what is frame relay. Frame relay is a packet switching telecommunication service for cost efficient data transmission for intermittent traffic between LANs and between endpoints in bands. Frame Relay is a virtual circuit wide area network that was designed in response to demands for a new type of fan in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Prior to Frame Relay, some organizations were using a virtual circuit switching network called X25 that performed switching at the network layer. For example, the internet which needs wide area networks to carry its packets from one place to another used X25 but it is being replaced by other vans. However, X25 has several drawbacks like X25 has a low 64 kbps data rate, X25 has extensive flow and error control at both the data link layer and network layer. In response to all these above uh, drawbacks, frame relay was designed. These are the features of frame relay. Frame Relay operates at a higher speed that is 1.54 Mbps and recently 44.376 Mbps is also available. Frame Relay operates in just the physical and data link layer. This means it can easily be used as a backbone network to provide services to protocols that already have a network layer protocol such as internet. Frame Relay allows bursty data. Bursty data means the data having high bandwidth transmission in short period. Frame Relay is less, less expensive than other ones. Frame Relay allows a frame size of 9000 bytes which can accommodate all local area network frame size. Frame Relay has error detection at the data link layer only. There is no flow control and error control. Now the architecture of Frame Relay network connected to the internet is as shown in the figure. Frame Relay provides permanent virtual circuit PVC and switch virtual circuit SVC. The routers are, connect, are used to connect LANs and WANs in the internet. In this figure, the Frame Relay WAN is used as one link in the global internet. A virtual circuit in Frame Relay is identified by a number called a data link connection identifier DLCI. A source and destination may choose to have a permanent virtual circuit PVC. Each switch in, the, in a frame relay network has a table to route frames. The table matches an incoming port DLCI combination with an output port DLCI combination. In this slide, we are going to discuss about frame relay layers. Frame relay has a only physical and data link layer. So the first layer is physical layer. There is no specific protocol is defined for the physical layer in frame relay. Instead, it is left to the implementer to use whatever is available. Frame Relay supports any of the protocols recognized by ANSI. ANSI is the American National Standard Institute. Second layer is Data Link layer. At the Data Link layer, Frame Relay uses a simple protocol that does not support flow or error control. It only has an error detection mechanism. Frame Relay Frame as we can see, frame relay frame has flag, address, information, FCS and then again flag. So in address field, the first 6 bits of the first byte makes up the first part of the DLCI and second part of the DLCI uses the 4 bit of the second byte. These bits are part of 10 bit data link connection identifier defined by standard C slash R command slash response bit. It is provided to allow upper layers to identify a frame as either a command or a response. EA, the extended address bit. This indicates whether the current byte is the final byte or the of the address. If EA equals to 0 means that another address byte is to follows. If EA equals to 1 means that the current byte is the final one. FECN forward explicit congestion notification bit. It can be set by any switch to indicate that traffic is congested. 
This bit informs the congestion has occurred. BECN Backward Explicit Congestion Notification Bit It is set to indicate a congestion problem in the network. This bit informs sender that congestion has occurred. DE Discard Eligibility This bit indicates the priority level of the frame. If DE equals to 1, uh, then this bit tells the network to discard this frame if there is congestion. To increase the range of DLCIs, the frame relay address has been extended from original 2 byte address to 3 to 4 byte address. <coughs> frame relay uses a device called frame relay assembler disassembler to handle frames arriving from the other protocols. A FRAD assembler assembles and dissembles frame com com coming from the protocols to allow them to be carried by frame relay frames. As you can see, two FRADs connected to a frame relay network. Frame relay network offer an option called voice over frame relay VOFR that sends voice through a network. Voice is digit, uh, digitized using PCM and then compressed. The result is sent as data frames over the network. This feature allows the inexpensive sending of voice over a long distance. Frame Relay Frame Relay was originally designed to provide PVC connections. There was not a provision for controlling or managing interfaces. Local Management Information LMI is a protocol added recently to the frame relay protocol to provide more management features. LMI can provide a keep alive mechanism to check if data are flowing. Next, a multicast mechanism to allow a local end system to send frames to more than one remote end system. And a mechanism to allow an end system to check the status of a switch. It is all about the frame relay. Thank you.